Hey everyone, this is Noah, and in this video I'll be going over uh, track 2020. It feels weird, but we're there, 2020. Uh, real quick, just a little, a little about the program itself. All product will be 20% net 90, which is, uh, I think, identical to what we've done in the past, at least the past several years. Uh, the only real change to our terms are to, to send shoes back to reach that minimum. Last year it was 48 pairs. This year it's going to be 36 pairs. So you only need to purchase 36 pairs and able to qualify for sending 20% of those pairs back. So you can order 15 pairs, you can order 10 pairs, and that's totally fine. You'll still get 20% net 90, but you won't be able to then send 20% of those shoes back at the end of the season. Whereas if you, if you purchase 100 shoes, you'll be able to send 20 pairs back at the end of the season to help you manage that inventory a little better. Um, I've explained this in the past, but you know, basically we're limiting the number of pairs that, that get back to us because Saucony will turn around and you know, sell to third parties and find other ways of distributing those shoes that weren't sold and then you face competition through those shoes later on. Maybe it's next year, maybe it's the year after that. So uh, I think it's created a healthier market overall. We're gonna continue that trend. We're just lowering that, at that uh, minimum down to 36 pairs, so it's a little more friendly. Uh, just making sure everyone can, can take place, and take part in our um, you know, spring track 2020 program. The first product to update is the Endorphin. So this is our high-end distance spike. It receives a, a pretty easy update. They cleaned up the upper. Uh, we're using a super lightweight uh, mesh that's a little, little less woven, and it's more of an engineered mesh. And that helps with breathability, also helps with weight. Um, we have added this spacer, spacer mesh right here, and then kind of created this attached tongue as well. It's a, pretty, it's a pretty lightweight material, so while it is sort of a booty construction, it shouldn't be hard for an athlete to get their foot in the shoe because it is nice and soft. Not as an, not as an aggressive shoe compared to maybe our, our sprint spikes, so we can have something that's a little less aggressive up top. Um, and that shoe comes in at, at 120. Next we have the Ballista MD. So we do add the MD to the end of this shoe name, and just to call out that it's a middle distance shoe, making it a little easier to pull for, for your employees. I know it's helpful, it's been helpful for me in the past. Um, the biggest change to this shoe is the price. So we take it from 120 down to 90, which is a really nice uh, price drop. Um, you know, we, we, we wanna represent this category really, really well for this athlete that knows that they're a middle distance runner and we wanna provide them with a great shoe that doesn't have to break the bank. So, so coming in at 90 is a big drop from 120. I, we hope it's gonna be good for you and good for the end customer as well. Um, so that's the Ballista MD. Next we have the Vendetta and this is our $65 um, long distance spike but it can be used for all events so this is the spike that I would bring in first and it's great for someone who's a freshman they're coming in they don't know if they're gonna be a long jumper they don't know if they're gonna be a high jumper or a distance runner or a sprinter but this shoe can do all of those it's $65 so you don't have to buy more than one shoe to try out different events and it's still gonna it's still going to perform much better than any alternative you know in terms of Oh, I'll just run in my trainers. Oh, I'll just jump in my trainers. This is, it's still a performance shoe. You're still gonna get that performance fit, feel, and function, but with $65. So again, great for someone who's just trying out track. Maybe it's their freshman or sophomore year, and they wanna kind of do a little bit of each event. The, Vendetta, the Vendetta is a great start for, for that athlete. And the updates to the Vendetta include moving from four to six spikes, and then just a, a more aggressive lockdown lacing system. We wanted to manage kind of how the, the shoe fit, fitted and felt uh, and, and just adding a little more of an aggressive feel to it, you know, especially because this is being used by all kinds of athletes, not just distance, but sprint, jump, field, and the like. So that's your vendetta. Next we have the showdown. So this is, a, this is our high-end sprint spike. Comes in at $110. It has a very aggressive outsole, so you see the full shank there throughout the entire shoe. It's really gonna force uh, the sprinter up onto their toe and kind of engage their legs a little more. Uh, the, the changes include this, this lockdown lacing system. So it's a full non-standard lacing system. We've included the like a heel lockdown and a rear, rear eyelet as well. 
uh, when you have a, a spike that's this aggressive, especially in that outsole, you need something that's gonna be just as aggressive up top. So while the endorphin has that booty construction that is a little more forgiving, this is really going to attach this, this shoe to our sprinter. And again, that's what we need because it's a little more aggressive right here. We gotta have, have it be more aggressive up top as well. And those are the changes there. The last track spike is the Spitfire, and this shoe is actually not updating. So it saw a really cool update last year, the shoes that you, that you have on your wall now, uh, and it's just a really nice looking $65 shoe. It looks like a $120 shoe, it feels like a $120 shoe, uh, but it's just 65 bucks. So we've, at, we've created a, a good value play here. Um, no changes, just a lot of cool color updates. Still a great option. Lastly, our field spikes do not update, but we still have them available for you all. So primarily the showdown, this is probably the first field shoe that I would re recommend bringing in. Uh, just because that event, it definitely, you know, you need a specific shoe for that event that's not gonna work with like a sprint spike or a distance spike. Uh, and it's also probably the most athletes are looking for this shoe in particular. It is our best selling field shoe. Um, so something something good to have on the wall if you want you want a field presence but you don't want it cluttering up the back room the showdown is going to be a great option for you we also have the Soren here and and the uplift so our our jump you know long jump triple jump and then high jump shoes very specific to those events you know the Soren is going to be really really stiff really rigid and, and just provide as much response as possible and then the high jump spike has those spikes in the heel as well as just a really grippy outsole so as you're approaching the you know the high jump pit you know you're not worried about you can play your heel and you know it's going to stick you're not worried about traction or anything like that and then lastly the the jav boot so that's our lanzar jav boot it's a hundred dollars all of these are hundred hundred dollars so for being such specific shoes uh, for that for those athletes those specific athletes they're you know a pretty decent price as well that's in the jab boot and that's our, those are our updates for track 2020 um, I'm pretty happy with some of the price changes and just having those 65 to 90 dollar options but then also you know if you want to go big you have the showdown you have the endorphin so you can provide that top end product at a top end price but also have, you have something for everybody, something for everybody. Um, just in, you know, to, to review the program again, 20% net 90, and you have to book at least 36 pairs to send 20% of them back. Thanks for watching and have a great day.